As Cassie would say, we are not defined by what happens to us, we are defined by how we react and respond to what happens to us. But how would you react if I tell you that this story might not be over yet? Hello and welcome back people, are you ready for another adventure? Then stay with me until the end as I have some really interesting news to share with you. Now let's dive in with a short recap. I think season 6 is my favorite so far. I think the magic is back. Based on the movie The Good Witch, the TV series with the same name as a fantasy comedy drama that first aired back in 2008, Hallmark announced its decision to put an end to the show in July 2021, and I must admit, that was devastating. After several movies and seven amazing seasons of the series, for all of us who followed Cassie's adventure, this was a huge shock and it broke our hearts. But do you know what kept the hope in me? The fact that Catherine Bell is still ready to jump in at some point. As a matter of fact, Catherine made it clear that she feels so grateful to have an opportunity to play such an amazing character, and she would be happy to join some future project if the studio decides to proceed. She's inspired me to be a better person, to be kinder, gentler, more loving, and accepting. I know that many of you have felt the same. I feel so fortunate. I know we will all miss the good witch and all the amazing characters and stories, but I'm definitely smiling because it happened," said Catherine about the character. And yes, I must agree with her. Isn't it why we all watch the show, right? Anyway, before I start talking about the future plans and projects, it would be fair if I remind you what made the last season of Good Witch so special. That was an emotional series finale on Hallmark. Catherine Bell, aka Cassie Nightingale, and the rest of the gang said a bittersweet goodbye. After seven seasons, but the critics are positive, there's a lot to celebrate yet, even though fans were very sad. The last two episodes dealt with family mysteries related to Cassie, Abigail, and Joy's Merowick roots. The last season was a little more straightforward, even though witchcraft had always been winked at on Good Witch. The Merowick ladies had to find out how the Tree of Life symbol is related to the strange contents of three purple bags. So they had to work a little magic to maintain their powers. In the season finale, the three ladies finally figured out a key component of the mystery. They needed to find out how to create a second amulet because their magic was fading. Joy dreamt of what they'll have to do and along with Cassie, Abigail and George, they created the purple fire and figured out how to use the orb. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough. The three ladies realized what's a key component of the mystery at the very end of the penultimate episode. They needed to hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No really, they needed to find out how to create a second amulet since their magic was fading, so Joy dreamt of what needed to be done. Along with Cassie and Abigail and George's help, they found a way to use the orb of intent to create purple fire. Soon after, Cassie will put the amulet around her neck and our Merwick ladies headed outside. In a moment that seemed like we might get Beatty Madison in the spotlight, Cassie thought she saw Grace, and this moment was expected since Bailey portrayed Grace for the first five seasons and it was a real disappointment that she didn't return back for the finale. Anyway, I'll stop here and give you a chance to rewatch the last season and prepare for what might come next. Now let's talk about the potential release date. I think the symbol's meant for protection. Protection from what? That's what we have to figure out. As the years were passing, the viewers' drop was noticeable, from 2.2 million on average in season 1 to 1.5 million in the seventh season still not bad. Neither ITV nor Netflix have announced any updates or a release date about the possible 8th season, but I found it crazy to cancel a show while the ratings still seem to go pretty much unbothered. Am I right? Hallmark never shared an official explanation for the cancellation. It would be unseemly to complain about your show being cancelled after 7 seasons, and I won't. I've been very fortunate to have been on other long-running series, but Good Witch was special, said James Denton which makes us think that he would be ready if another opportunity appears. Now let's talk about the possible cast list. A romance too, I love mm. that everyone's exploring different aspects of romance. Yeah, and love in the air. <laughs> First of all, we don't even need to mention who would be the main protagonist. This won't be the same show without Catherine Bell, and the fact that the actress confirmed she's ready to jump in again makes this even more possible. We really hope to see Bailey Madison returning as Cassie's teenager daughter, Grace Russell. Madison was last in the show for the season 5 finale, and we haven't seen her on the show since. Dr. Sam Radford is set to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. No really, in all seriousness now, Sam is set to return back if there's another season, and this role will take James Denton again. 
Catherine Bell, James Denton, and Catherine Barrow, among others, are members of the Hallmark Channel family, and as Hallmark announced, there have been some discussions about some future projects. And now let's speak about the future projects or the theories that might happen in the next season. Relationship with you and Sam. Sam and Cassie are rock solid as always. I love those two. They're just, you know, they're good. If it isn't Mr. And Bailey Madison shared on Twitter one cool quote announcing her departure from the show. They say life is like a beautiful book and everyone's story is unique to them. But is her story completely over? After five seasons on the show, she decided not to return for the last season. But it's good to note that there was no bad blood between the actress and the rest of the team. She played Cassie's daughter for almost five years, but just before the end, she decided to move on to other things. Now, one theory is saying that she might return back as the lead actress. The craziest thing is that she might even take her mother's role. We don't know what the show would look like without Catherine Bell or less of Catherine Bell, but this theory is definitely worth thinking about. I could say this is totally possible. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of weird. There's one more interesting story coming from the fans and some media. It's actually pretty old, but worth mentioning. They believe that Jake isn't really dead. Cassie appeared as a widow in the TV series, but she had a happy marriage with Jake in the movies. Long after Jake left, she met Sam. Sam and Cassie are a perfect couple. They get along so well and seem to understand each other. Even though they believe in different things, they take the medicine differently and they respect each other's attitudes. But fans believe that Jake isn't dead and Chris Potter will return to reprise his role. What would this look like? I don't really know, but I must admit, it sure sounds interesting. It's different about this season. For me, the scripts keep getting better and better. They really kicked it up a notch. We have new writers and they- Hallmark announced his decision on July 25th last year. They decided to end the long-running series. But soon after that, we could hear some insiders saying that another movie is already in development. After all, we first met Cassie Nightingale in a movie, so the rumors that this might not be the end of her are getting louder and louder. The show ended in a way that leaves that door open for more stories to be told. Cassie, Joy, and Abigail still have their powers, and while Abigail is over with Donovan, Cassie's relationship with Sam is getting stronger and stronger. Nothing is over yet. I just hope they'll release something as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, God.